Well, hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to Area 51, welcome back to Forgotten Figures episode 37, I think we're on 37 now, and this is where I show you the stuff that I found new during the last couple of weeks, because I try to make a trip about every two weeks, and new that I found uh, over the last couple of weeks, and then used uh, secondhand figures that I find at secondhand store, my favorite thing to show, I call that street scenes, and I'll show that to you in a little bit, so let's get on with episode 37, now my my new pile is not very big, it's going to be pretty quick, but my used pile is pretty big, so it'll make up for it, now if this is your first time here, uh, I am a collector of many things, statues, figures, uh, RCs, I run RCs, I do many many things, and uh, but my big passion is collecting secondhand uh, figures mostly from secondhand stores. That's what I really like to do. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell. I do uh, a few videos every now and again. Now a lot of you are going to say, hey, you haven't done a video for over a week, and I haven't because I've been working on this room. You notice that my my uh, view, your view is different than I normally do. Uh, it's because I've changed the room a bit, and I'll be doing a video on that to show you all the changes. I've been working uh, almost an entire week and a little bit. I'm finishing off today, I think today, and I will be doing a video which will come up next week of the hobby room. I'm calling it, calling it the hobby room. I can't really call it the toy room because there's so many things that are in here that I collect, so I call it the hobby room, and that's coming next week or the week after, but it's coming. I've just got to finish a couple more things to get it exactly where I want it. So with that all, all said and done, let's get on to the new stuff that I picked up this week. And one of the things that I picked up, and of course for year, me this year, is Year of the Transformers. This is Paleotrex. And uh, this is one that was, it's a shell former, there's no other way of putting it. It's basically uh, like a little um, a dinosaur set of bones, but he also can be used by as weapons by other uh, Transformers. So he was the one of the last ones that I picked up on the shelf. He was sitting ashore. I thought he was pretty safe to leave him for a while. So picked him up, uh, and of course this is the Kingdom line, and I've been threatening to open these, but uh, I haven't got around to it yet. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to or not, we'll see. Uh, and then I was in... Toys R Us, and up here in Canada we have the Toys R Us, and uh, came around the corner and found this guy. Uh, just absolutely beautiful, the Mandarin Spawn. Absolutely loved. Now I think this is, the, this is, yeah, uh, no, this may not be the, the variant. This is the one that came out a little while ago, so I, I love Spawn, I'm a huge Spawn fan, even though I still haven't got my Kickstarter yet. Uh, we won't even talk about that. But uh, there's this beautiful Spawn, and I think he looks absolutely fantastic. No, nope, I won't be taking him out of the box, I'm an in-box collector. And I will be very hard pressed to take him out of the box, but he looks absolutely beautiful. But right beside him, uh, I'll move him over here. And right beside him was this guy, the blue Mandarin Spawn. And uh, this is the gold label. This is the first gold label I have seen up in my end of the woods. And I'm up here in Canada, so this is the first I have seen this up here. Now I'm not sure if this is just the next in line or if this is a variant. So if you know, please uh, drop a line down below because I'm not 100% sure. But uh, these are absolutely beautiful. Uh, these mandarin spawns, man, I just, I absolutely love them. I'm tempted to pull them out of the box, but uh, I might pull them out of the box, take a couple shots and put them back in again, but I am an in-box collector, no problems there. And then I went to my local store here and finally pulled the trigger on this guy. This is the 1979 uh, Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. He's a little rough and he's missing a few things, but uh, he is stunning as stunning can get. Let's put him out of the box. Let's pull him out of the box for a moment and have a look at him. There he is there. He is absolutely really, really nice. 1979. He's scuffed. He was obviously pay, played with. And there's a partial, uh, partial, partial missile in there. Now, this is not obviously the rocket firing one, but his missile is broken off inside. And, I mean, that's fine. I just wanted to get him. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. 79 Boba Fett. In the collection. Trying to get as many of these OGs as I can. So that's all we have for new. Like I said, it wasn't huge for new. Um, there just isn't anything happening. I'm doing a lot of hunting. There just isn't a lot of stuff hitting the shelves right now. After Christmas, I think there's burnout and whatnot. So we're not seeing a lot of it here. So we are gonna move to street scenes. And street scenes is where I show you the items that I have picked up at my most favorite secondhand store. And uh, we'll do that right now. So let's go to street scenes. Welcome to Street Scenes everyone, and this is where I show you what I have picked up at the used store that I go to. And a lot of these guys come in bags and a lot of stuff is missing. So, in front of you is the 2003 McDonald's He-Man. Now I know the figure on the Tiger was the, one of the 2003 McDonald's he mans releases. I'm not sure the Tiger is. I think that was probably added later. But I found him in a bag like this, and I have found an axe for him, so I will display him with the axe. But I think he looks really super amazing. Uh, the Tiger looks really great. So again, 2003 
uh, He-Man uh, setup, but I'm not really sure that's the way it's supposed to be. This is the Spin Master uh, RC Airhogs uh, X34 Luke's Landspeeder. I don't have the radio for it, and it does work. I can get the uh, little light to light up in the back. It does work, but I do not have the radio for it. But I thought because being a Star Wars guy, I would pick this up. Most of the times I'd have let this go had it been anything else, but because it's the, the Landspeeder, the X34, I grabbed it up. I think it looks really this good. This is a 2001 uh, Bandai 6-inch uh, action figure. It's, uh, on the research, it says it's one of the original Transformers uh, that came out by Bandai. So he's a little faded, but uh, he looks pretty good. But everything I've read on it says that this is an original Transformer. So I'm going to take him at their word and say, you know, that's what it is. But it's a Bandai Transformer. And he's unfortunately the, the elk head here is missing a horn. But again, that's what happens with these things. So we'll put him over this there. This is from 2009. This is a T600 Terminator. Uh, from the Terminator Salvation movie, yes. This is the guy that got the railroad uh, wheels dropped on him by the LA, uh, the LA group, uh, or the LA branch, uh, when, um, what's his name, found those kids. So this is him. Now he is missing, he usually has a bit of a mask on, and I do believe he's missing his big gun. But I'll take him as he sits, I think he looks pretty cool. But uh, T600. This is uh, from 2014, this is Ancient Venom. From This is from the two-pack with the Green Goblin. Now he has very limited articulation. I think this is about my third or fourth one uh, of these Agent Venoms I found. Always happy to pick them up because you could probably do some customizing down the road with these. Uh, but I think he looks pretty These sweet. three guys are the Avengers Age of Ultron figures. Now these were only available at the theater. Uh, I remember seeing them because I bought some other items that were Ultron related and they connect together so you, they can kind of look like they're standing back to back. If I did that I wouldn't be able to fit them in here but Age of Ultron theater figs I'm calling these and uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, I was looking at them when I was in the movies and I thought I should pick them up but I didn't. But uh, I'm glad I finally found them. I think From 2004 really this is the Toy Biz Legends Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four. First uh, Johnny Storm that I found, I put him out on Instagram and I called him Johnny Blaze by mistake, so my apologies. But always happy to find these uh, these uh, six inch uh, Fantastic Four figures. So I've got a Ben Grimm and I've got this guy, so now I've got to look for the rest of them. So, uh, Okay guys, I kind of got to go mobile for this one. This is the 2005 uh, Sega Edition chess set pieces. I've been looking for these for the last two years and I think with this find I think I've got every single one I need to make a complete chess run and uh, it was a great day for finding these and they look amazing look at that Yoda isn't that crazy that is the king for the good guys but isn't that crazy um, absolutely amazing I do think I have all of them now and I can actually uh, put them on a chess set and one of these days I will get my Lord of the Rings chess pieces up and this up as well absolutely amazing so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, I'm having to shoot this scene all over again because I forgot to turn the camera on the first time I did it. <laughs> what an idiot. So in front of you is from 2001 Lord of the Rings, Legolas, and he's pretty dirty in the face. i got to wash him. He's also missing his bow, his arrows, his sword, and just about everything else. And that's what happens with these. You tend to um, lose these things uh, in these bags. But then again, they're secondhand. What do you expect? So I'm going to push him over here. This is from 2004. This is a 3.75 Chewy. I'm not sure what series he's from, but he does have an action, which is different from most of these. If you press his legs together, he does that, his head goes up, kind of like a victory thing. So, uh, always happy to find a 3.75s. And speaking of 3.75s, we might as well get him in here, Mr. Cassian Endor uh, from Rogue One. I found him. Was very happy to have found him, and I'm always happy to find these 3.75s because they're actually quite expensive at secondhand stores. But here I paid a dollar or 3.99 for all three, and again Kylo Ren, not my favorite Star Wars figure. Have to be 100% honest, he's really not my favorite. But when I can get three 3.75s for less than four, it wouldn't bucks, be a collection not? video around here if I didn't have a turtle. This is a 2002 Michelangelo, and his belt is missing, but I'll find that as I uh, move along. I usually find bags of accessories, but uh, there's always a ton of turtles around here. This is from 2014. This is the Ultimate Spider-Man, and uh, he has very little articulation, just at the uh, shoulders and the hips, and his head moves, but uh, not much else other than that. So this is kind of like a a cheaper version of a legend, but uh, one that play, you know, you could get some good Okay, guys, this is guessing game time. I don't know who this is. The uh, licensing on the bottom of his foot says 2008. Nothing else. No uh, catalog numbers or nothing. So I'm assuming he came in a set. 
I have no idea who this is. I notice on his right arm there is those uh, gauntletly spikes that Batman has. Could this be an Arkham figure? I don't know. If you know who this is, uh, drop a line below and let me know because I don't know who that is. And again, this sometimes happens with these. If this came in a set, the set somewhere would have the uh, licensing information on it and not the figure itself. So if you know who this is, this is from 1994. This is the Air Assault Batman. I have quite a few of these. He's a little rougher. It looks like he's been ding dinged up pretty good. You can see some of the scuffing on him and on his shoulders. He's obviously missing his uh, Air Assault glider and whatever other accessory he came with, but that's uh, to be expected. But I'll be putting him up in the bat set, which I think I'll be working on today. Uh, for the uh, Hobby Room Tour coming this very soon. This is from soon. 2017. This is the JLA Flash. This is the Battle Armor Action Edition. And, of course, this is the character played by Ezra Miller. A lot of people didn't like him. I didn't mind him. I do like the looks of this figure. I don't have a lot of Flash figures. And uh, this is... Uh, Marcello would like this one because it's translucent. And uh, he's a good-looking figure. I like him. Uh, I'm glad I found him. And I'll put him on the shelf. And uh, very happy to have uh, this flash. Always glad to find wrestling figures. This is from 2014. This is the WWE Cesaro. And he came from the Elite 47 line. Uh, I think they call him the Swiss Superman or something like that. Don't know a lot about the figures. But uh, very glad to uh, have him when I find him. And this guy was also in the bag with him. Let me put him up here. You see him? There we go. And that is from 2014. That is... Nope, sorry. That is from 2011. That is the WWF WWE uh, Tyson Kidd. And he came in the Cesaro Tag Team title. So these two might have come together, for all I know. They were in the same bag together. Uh, so, yeah. Kind of happy to have those. So uh, let's close this so video. Out, ladies and gentlemen. That is the haul. You'll notice the... Um, view is different than I normally show. I usually stand behind behind my desk, but I've made some changes and I'm showing you a couple of changes right there. I've redone this side with the new shelves. And again, I'll do a whole tour of this hobby room here, but this is my uh, run for Forgotten Figures episode 37. Let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, and for me, the favorites are going to have to be those Mandarin spawns. Uh, those are my favorites, but that Boba Fett from 79 is, is a very close second. Let me know which is your favorite. Uh, catch me on Instagram. I put a lot of these up on Instagram before they hit this. Uh, my Instagram is uh, Mike underscore area underscore 51. I try to put something up every single day. I love Instagram. Uh, you can catch me here. I try to do uh, one or two movies a week. But now that RC season is here, uh, I was out yesterday flying all day and running crawlers all day. And uh, when I say crawlers, I mean these guys right here. We were out all day yesterday with those and with the planes. I've got a lot of planes. So RC season is upon us, so uh, my videos will be a little bit less than they have been, but I'll still be posting to Instagram. So uh, subscribe if you haven't, hit the like button, let me know what you think, let me know what you found, and we will catch you all in the next installment of Forgotten Figures episode 38 coming up when I find some stuff. Area 51 says take it easy. Area 51, Home of the Superheroes. We'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.